let me show you guys. Um, the case actually came apart. So this little magnetic piece right here was left just like this on my iPhone. So I literally just took it out and it popped out of the case and now is on my iPhone. Hey Wear Noticers, Shane here and welcome to another video on the Wear Notice Technology YouTube channel. If you're new here, definitely take a moment to consider subscribing so you don't miss out on all my other awesome technology videos about things like smartphones, smartwatches, tech accessories, cases, tablets, computers, and really just so much more. But anyway, folks, in this video, we're gonna be unboxing this guy right here. This is the Spigen Ultra Hybrid with MagSafe case for none other than the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So without further ado, let's get to getting this guy out of the box. Here we go. So folks, here we are up close and personal with this box. As you can see, we got a tiny little picture of the case itself. It says speaking up here, it says iPhone 6.7 inch 2021. So it doesn't actually say 13 Pro Max, but that is what that is right here, the 13 Pro Max. So yeah, anyway, let's just open up this box. So we can just pull this little tab right here and wow, that was easy. We could just slide out the case and nothing else in the box. We can put that to the side. We can open up this little packaging right here. And then it looks like here we've got some instructions and it says important, please start from step Step one, starting from a different step can lead to scratches on the product. Okay, so step one looks like you go to the inside and it looks like you peel this off so we can do that right there. And then step two is to do the inside right here, it looks like, so we can just do that as well. Okay, and then step three looks to do the outside, if I'm understanding that right. So we can just slide that off right there, and boom, now this case is ready for my iPhone 13 Pro Max. So let's just put my phone in it. So we can just go ahead and we can put the top in just like this, then we can go ahead and put it in the bottom just like that, nice and easy, and now it is on. So let's do a quick walk around of this case. Over here, we got the mute switch right here, over here, we also have some volume buttons right there. Over here on the bottom, we have speaker grill cutouts as well as a lightning port cutout. Over here on the side, we have the side button. Over here on the top, it says air cushion technology and it's pointing to that little cushion in the corner right there. Over here on the back, we got that massive camera cutout for the 13 Pro Max's huge cameras. We've also got those white magnets for MagSafe. Another thing too with this case, you will notice that there are raised lips around the front of the screen right here. So in theory, if you put your phone down on a flat surface, the screen should not touch it, which is definitely good. And similarly, their raised lips around the rear camera. So now let's test out that MagSafe compatibility. I have my Apple MagSafe battery pack right here. I can clip it onto the back of the phone and boom, now it's charging. We can go over here and take a look at that. And yeah, that works pretty well right here. And another thing I kind of want to do is I kind of want to look at this in comparison with Apple's own clear MagSafe case right here. One of the major differences that I am noticing is the bottom area. So on Apple's clear MagSafe case, there is a giant cutout, whereas on Spigens, there are individual cutouts for the speaker grills and the lightning port. My guess is having cutouts like this individually probably is more protection, but me personally, I definitely prefer Apple's own case because it's just more minimalistic and clean. But I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. This Spigen option right here, the ultra hybrid clear with MagSafe is definitely a viable option. And it's actually cheaper than Apple's clear MagSafe case. So Apple's goes for about $50, Spigen's goes for about $40. I will say it's a little less comfortable in the hand than Apple's because it's got these little raised edges on the corners of the back of the device and those kind of scratch your hand a bit when you're holding it. So I don't really like that. Again, I prefer Apple's right here for that extra $10. So that's just something to note right there. But oh boy, so I didn't get this on video, but I was just taking this Spigen case off of my iPhone 13 Pro Max right here. And let me show you guys. Um, the case actually came apart. So this little magnetic piece right here was left just like this on my iPhone. So I literally just took it out and it popped out of the case and now is on my iPhone. So you know what, I'm gonna say, don't get this case. Uh, I would spend the extra money 100%, 10 out of 10 times and get the Apple Clear MagSafe case. It's only an extra $10 and it's actually well built. I mean, this magnet, I've never seen this before. I've unboxed a lot of cases 
cases. I've never seen the magnet pop out of the case like that. So that is pretty bad, uh, needless to say, right there. So I would not get this case, but I mean, yeah, definitely let me know down in the comments what your guys' experience with this case is, if it just falls apart the first time you take it out just like that. I do read all the comments, by the way. And if you are in the market for an iPhone 13 Pro Max case for yourself, I'll have a link down in the description to my playlist of all the different iPhone 13 Pro Max cases that I've unboxed on the channel if you want to check those out and let me help you find the perfect case for your phone. Also, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to smash that subscribe button and subscribe to the Wear Notice Technology YouTube channel for more awesome technology videos just like this one. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing. Bye.